Do -do -do. All right, see where we're at. I have been drinking plenty of water, so. Hasn't exactly gone away. I'm going to turn up my audio. Right about there. And continue. If I need to, I'll probably turn it up a little bit more. So I have noticed that it is somewhat quiet. All right. So in the last episode, or last last episode, I mean technically last episode, but last last night's stream, we got ourselves a new companion, which is great. Uh, what are the lot of, what are the things we need? Oh, wrong button. We need to go to L. L L is weird. But well, well, technically it is log, not journal, so I guess, I guess that's all right, headless Nick. Uh we need to get we need to get him over to, I think, the... Or in the crowd. <laughs> crowd warmers. They're great. Never actually used any. Don't, don't plan on it. Um, well, we got a lot of... We got a lot of quests to do, so... I'll... Uh, Okay, so it's all the things we need to take care of. Oh, we're in the crime scene area right now, so I don't want to do that just yet. I need to talk to... We need to get over here. Yeah, there we go. That means we need to get out of here. Oh, hey! The market! Though, I don't probably don't want to. Well, what sort of arrows do you want? Freezing? Silver? Poison? Get to the point! <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Ooh. Oh, hey, archer skills. Quiet day on the market, it seems. I'll take my leave. Okay, so, oh, yeah. So, uh, what it to what it's told me, like, for the beginner's thing is I should probably... Best probably I get to two mages, a fighter, and an uh, archer. What's this place? A source hunter will always receive a warm welcome at the town hall of Sysiel. I'm sure Mayor Cecil is looking forward to making your acquaintance. Well, Mayor Cecil will be happy to see the. Okay, same, uh, same thing. I guess we can go in. I guess. It's you. Come closer, then. Closer? Huh? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes. Hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. My elf? What elf? Oh, myself. I am Cecil, Mayor of Sysiel, and husband of the stately Cecilia. I've been the mayor here for decades. And I'm quite eager to see Sysil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. Uh, tell me about the issue in Sysil. What? Oh, you mean Sysil? Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jacob by source magic no less weren't enough. 
We're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The undead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of this whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult or some such sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Sysiu. I need to be talking with Scarlet, not Z, because Scarlet has the charisma. I made a mistake here. And, oh, well. Uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic I rather foolishly sought. A weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. All right. About Jake's murder. Jake murdered? Oh, yes. Yes, now I recall. Indeed, I could hardly believe it myself. The Counselor and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Most of the townsfolk are certain Jake's wife, Esmeralda, is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit... Um, suggestive but I've never had cause to suspect her of violence still one never knows for sure Aww. tell me about the Duke an all right bloke apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense the whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sysil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor hmm uh, the undead what? The undead? Yes, for the past two years, those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sysil's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. What's this about a staff of Bergamon? A what of what now? Oh, you're speaking gibberish. Ah, you mean the staff of Pergamon? Yes, okay. yes. I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat, atypical to a government official. Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. Uh huh. Tell me about the merchant. His name is Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter, a merchant ship still docked at the Sysil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved if you don't mind. Oh, uh, what do you know about the staff itself? The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in the weapons of war. I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Hmm. Can you tell me more about Rivalon's uh, sect? Well, I, I do believe that something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, Source Hunter. But I suppose if, if you really don't know, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least explain the basics. All right, uh, what do you got here? Oh, hi. Ah, you see, when a lady and a fellow find each other rather nice, well, rather more than nice, they occasionally, <clears throat> well, they, ah. <sighs> Not what we asked, but okay. Oh, this is nonsense. I'm the mayor for the seventh sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees when Sysil's under siege by orcs, undead, and cultists. <laughs> I can get where he got that mixed up, but I'm not gonna. Anyways, uh, can you tell me more about the library? That depends. What kind of berries are you interested in exactly? Okay, this is actually kind of ah, getting a little... the library. Yes, yes, you must have a visit. It's the gem of Sysil. 
Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Sure, sounds interesting. Marvelous. Follow me then. I knew that dark dealing old man dabbled in source. To the gallows, I say. What? Oh, yes. This library is the jewel in Cyseal's crown. The beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. Edition two. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine. And she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Yes. Victoria's come a long way from that little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. Ah, it brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among her beloved books. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. Oh, okay. Oh, her. Volume one, volume two. In the name of Amun Hur, I bid thee Tujda get a hal. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. And who are you, madam? I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. The likeness isn't exactly striking, is it? When I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Cyseal toward the sea. The fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be Amond Hor, dear Cecil was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant that chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own. This kindest of souls taught me the language of men, their customs, and their letters. Thus, I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. <laughs> Apparently the books are continue to sway. That's hilarious. Uh, may I take Indeed books from the library? Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hold is yours to peruse and even take with you. All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Huh, well, I'll take my leave. Omnis autem mali demonis quam. What? What? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga, the protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sysil. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken, for you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. Okay, yet another fine. Ah, uh ah. -huh. No, a source hunter. That is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Oh, is he another companion? Why would you want to join forces? Why? Simply because you hunt source, and I, Jehan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that quite often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes, but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might of the magician's mastermind. On one condition, 
that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Give me your word on this, and I'll weave you spells. Zarelda does have a propensity for all things naughty, hasn't she? Very well. And they're talking about his morale about something apparently naughty. I mean, it's very well. There will be no deals with demons. The brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned. Agreed. Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. Most gratifying. I see you are firm of purpose and thereby ready to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery. Into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Sometimes I think these books sprout little legs in the night. What are... Oh, you're a mage, I take. Oh, God. What are your spells? Uh, rain, regeneration. Okay, that's nice. Uh, oh, you have a lot more spells than. Well, we still have yet to learn spells, so. Oh. So you you act. Oh, you actually have to. <gasps> Teleportation. I'm happy. I think I sense a sorcerer in yonder shadows. Oh. Oh, I can actually talk? Ready to advance. Ready That's to ask question for you. away, my friend. Ask away. Always helps to know a thing or two about who's covering your back against the Nash and Hordes, eh? Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Uh, what evidence of source and Sysil have you found thus far? More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our master Thaleron for another. And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Tell me about Mayor Cecil. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the mayor's a decent sort. Even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his nose. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I suspect an illegal source artifact or substance is the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I haven't technically been assigned to Sysil, I don't have the authority to interrogate him. That's unfortunate. Uh, Thelria. Thel Thel seems like a humble doctor, but I'll bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. A loose-lipped legionnaire let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions, well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. Um, tell me about the uh, feline menace. You mean hey, what's how's it going? No, comrade. Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. Hunter Zed. It's no coincidence the order retired me. Me? Or tried to little dizzy. To such an aptly named Going little town. Off and on. So I'm not sure how long I'll stay. I don't know. I don't know how long I'll be streaming tonight, but. Occasionally I'll get dizzy spells. Other than that, I'm doing fine. Way back when, the settlement was chartered as a stronghold for source hunters to keep watch over the borders 
of the Phantom Forest. I hope you get. I hope I get better. Thank you, Lels. Yeah, so I'm. I'm sure I'll be fine. Maybe once I actually get a good night's sleep. Don't let the name fool you, though. These days, the forest is little more than a smattering of trees and ruins. A perfect posting for an old bull in her dotage like yours truly. <laughs> In the days of old, though, the forest played host to source devils of every make and kind. Hunter's Edge was a settlement of source hunters tasked with watching over the border of the forest and putting down anything smacking a source that might creep out of it. By now, it's been centuries since anything more dangerous than a badger has come out of those woods. By and by, the source hunters moved out and regular folks set up shop. The town's charter requires that at least one of our kind remain to keep the watch. Okay, you also got the second game of this series? Yeah, I have both games. I had started playing two, stopped. I don't exactly remember where, and I'm not, I don't, and I don't really remember why. Volume one, volume two. However, the third one I assume you address me for a reason, so go on. Speak. Hey, Mr. Rude. Jeez. <clears throat> but, uh... I definitely plan on, uh, at least restart... I definitely plan on restarting the second game. So that way I can actually uh, play it for the full series. Of course you do. Where are you from? I am not from any place anymore. I go where my quest leads me. Besides... The name would mean nothing to you. The glorious city in the glorious kingdom where I was born. I remember them well, the sandstone castles, hewed like the very Dwarf sun Sumner. that battles there you their go. battlements without rest. I can see them still. The fountained gardens and halls of pearl-colored marble inlaid with gemstones set in shapes of plants and beasts. Yes, I can see them still, though when I try to focus on their details, like mirages, they dissolve upon approach. Time, it frays the foundations of memory. Why do you hunt demons? For a thousand reasons, and for one especial. The thousand obvious ones are list with pleasure. The special one, that is my secret to keep. Ah. Okay, so list the obvious ones. One, their scourge taints the natural world. Two, their machinations irreversibly corrupt minds. I wonder minds. if he's gonna go to like a hundred. Three, their perversions seek to end all beauty. Four, their schemes unhinge the fabric of space and time. Five, their presence distorts all intrinsic harmony. Teleron will have to pay yet another fine. Many hours pass before Jan stops enamoring his reasons. You are very sorry indeed that you asked. <laughs> Did party members really keep secrets from one another? Hunter, I could find you cross-dressed under the spell of a dominant goblin. Yet when next we'd meet, there'd be no questions asked. I have my secrets. Undoubtedly, you have yours. They are ours to keep. Ah, well, I guess I'll take my leave. And so let the hunt continue. Okay, first off, uh, any y'all got gold? Yes, you do. Send the scarlet. Brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned. Teleron will have to pay yet. All right. Golly gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me about yourself. I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite varieties. 
Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest. That is hardly a coincidence. I'd like to ask you some further questions. But of course, darling. Be my guest. Tell me about the Sicil. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit, that much I'll admit. And it is rather jolly to watch the ships sail in, laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayor likes to spoil me with. Darling man, he dotes on me so. Don't you fear the undead? Heavens forbid. No, fear is rather too strong a term there, hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we share, you and I. And though those rancid ramblers may not be quite as easy to put to the claw as mice are, I assure you, they are just as easily outwitted. I'll take my leave. It's always fun to actually talk with us animals sometimes. Where I need to go is way up there. This is Esmeralda. Don't want to talk to Esmeralda just. Oh yeah, I need to change something on uh, you. I need to give you back your staff. So how much is it? 8 to 13? Medium would pro um, uh, middle would probably be around uh, 11, so that'll be like 22. This does, oh yeah, this, that's a lot better. That's a lot better to do. While there's still some left to save, I say, go while the going's good. Okay. I'll be disfigured for life. Ah, uh, come on with the dramatics. It's not as bad as all that. That's it, Trish. The face furious. While you she can. put me in the face. Next orcish strap. Look on the bright side. Every okay, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Oh. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. Here's the situation you've got here. Is the woman in this cage under arrest? She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bull drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit tell you right in the face she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. And what will become of this uh, admittedly strange stranger? I'd say you ought to take her off our hands if you had the space. Though we couldn't guarantee she'd do more than piddle on the floor and maul your furniture. Ah. Ice blue eyes narrow beneath a heavy brow streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held at the ready. You think that's funny, Private? Sir, no, sir. Is she speaking in narrative? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, harm, stranger. I only wonder who you are. Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She clears her throat. Oh, is she mute? I am bear daughter. I have not come here to find trouble with the screech woman. She only startled me. And you, you are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. 
Your history is long and honorable. How'd you end up in this cage? This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge. She crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent screech woman on purpose. But soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this cage meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. Sorry, sir. 